Thank you. Shannon. What are you doing here? You won't answer my texts or return my calls. This is not the place. Maybe it's the perfect place. So we can actually have a conversation that doesn't end up with us in bed. Follow me? Eddie's sleeping with her, but he's lying about it. It's like he's having an affair with his own wife. You don't think that's weird? I think it's none of our business. Now, can we please focus on the trees now? Christopher! I really admire that kid. I love the way he always wants to do everything on his own. <laughs> yeah. So? Not gonna say anything? About what? You know what about? I figured it was none of my business. It's not. That's what I'm saying. It just kind of happened, okay? It's not like I planned it. I never said you did. I only even reached out to her because I need her help getting Christopher into his new school. Totally understand. This kind of ended up in bed. Well, these things happen. It's not like you're breaking any commandments. You guys are still married. Yeah. Did you miss me? My morning definitely wasn't the same without you. <laughs> hey, how you feeling? I... Yeah, side effects after the crash? I'm great. Thanks to all of you, which is why I'm here. You guys were so amazing. I want to do a story on this firehouse and all the heroes who work here. Because you're exhausting. We all have our own problems, but you don't see us whining about it. No, somehow we just manage to suck it up. Why can't you? Well, it's kind of hard. It's not like the guy asked to be crushed by a ladder truck. No, but he filed a stupid lawsuit. Now I can't even talk to you because of it. You know how much Christopher misses you? How could you? You're not around. I, I don't realize that. Maybe I could come and visit Christopher. You know, the lawsuit doesn't prevent that. No, it prevents me from reaching out to you. I couldn't even call you to bail me out of jail. If that was something that happened, what, what are you talking about? Look, man, why, why can't you see my side of this? Because that's all you see. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, man, look. Oh, no. Someone should stop him. These two or those two? So that's how it's going to be now. You're just gonna uh, keep on ghosting me, because that Halloween is over, just so you know. I don't know what you want from me, Buck. Forget, forget, make you feel better about what you did. I just want you to talk to me. <laughs> Even if it's just to say that you're still mad. I'm not mad. I'm... When you decided to sue the department, to make Cap the bad guy, did you ever stop for a minute to think what that could do to us? I just, I, I needed my job back. I missed, I missed being here, being part of the team. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. A lot of eyes in there. Your actions, your choices, they impact the rest of us. That's what it means to be a part of a team. You're right. I didn't think about what could happen. I was mad at Bobby for not letting me back. I was mad at, at you guys for moving on without me. I was mad that there was nothing I could do about it. And I just, I just wanted to- Punch someone? Yeah, a little. And I get it. And I really am sorry. Whatever it takes for you to forgive me. I forgive you. Also what it means to be part of a team. Just... Just don't do it again. <laughs> or for anything. How's therapy with Frank? I haven't seen him in a while. Seems good. Though I'm not really sure he and I are... Clicking. You should try talking to Rosemary. I went to her after the stabbing. She was great. Is that the one I slept with? No. She doesn't work for the department anymore. You slept with your therapist? I was uh, going through a phase. Hey, didn't you just go through one of those? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Look, I'm sorry I wasn't there, Eddie. But you and Chris needed me, and, and I had my head so far up my own behind with that stupid We're loss. We're way past that, bud. I'm not. I should have been there. Maybe I could have talked some sense into you. You talk sense into me. Might have been interesting. Could have 
told you not to buy that truck. Yeah, you'd have talked me into buying something more expensive. Yeah, fair point. Come on, Eddie. If you're not gonna be honest with Frank, at least be honest with me. Who said I wasn't being honest with Frank? You said you two weren't clicking. Well, maybe I'm just not a therapy kind of guy. Right, right. You, uh, you prefer to work it out in the ring. There was no ring, Buck. There was a fence. <laughs> Come on. You don't think while you were going through your phase, just maybe, you were throwing your punches at the wrong guy? Seriously? You're gonna make it about you again? Look, I'm just saying you were pretty pissed. You know, I thought for sure that day in the grocery store you were gonna take a swing at me. Not that you didn't deserve it. But I wouldn't do that. You're on blood thinners. Well, I'd still take you. You think so? I know. You want to go for the title? This is my kind of therapy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One more round. Pick him up. 